Hello and welcome to the Charlotte Roval. We are here in Be Fixed. That's fixed, not open, because, well, these uh, races are super long if you do the open series. <laughs> and uh, I think usually you don't even have to pit during the open series at road courses. And so it kind of uh, removes the strategy aspect that I enjoy so much from the open series. So, fixed is good. We're here and fixed. Um, hopefully got ourselves a fun race here today. I actually really like the Charlotte Roval. That doesn't mean I'm good at it, but I really like it. <laughs> we, um, we've got lots of people I don't recognize in here, because one, I don't normally do the fixed series, and two, well, lots of different road racers, I guess. But we are in the top split, I believe. And we also have Ryan Vargas in here, which is pretty cool, Xfinity driver for, I think, JD Motorsports. Uh, he's on iRacing plenty. Very, seems like a very nice guy. Um, I always root for him during real life competitions and stuff, but we're going to try to beat him here today. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that, though. Because, like I said, I'm not very fast. I may be the number two, but that's from doing, green flag, green you know, flag. normal road racing cars, not stock cars. But okay. I should hopefully be able to keep this thing steady at the very least. I hope. And maybe, uh, you know, get some free spots if guys crash and stuff like that. And uh, keep it smooth. Try to get that average lap time in a nice range and see where it takes me. Of course, what is also not too unlikely to happen is I will end up side by side with someone, not know how to handle it, and crash. Because it's one thing to drive around here on your own, but going too wide through some of these corners or something, that can be lethal. So, we'll see. So far so good for qualifying, feeling alright. We got a little more practice than I normally get, so that I did the 30 minutes beforehand for this race, and I actually did a little bit more practice because I was going to race this a couple nights ago, but uh, no one signed up because it was late, and that was a bummer. But I did get a little bit extra practice because of that, but getting ready for that race that didn't happen. So I guess you can look at that as a bright side for what that is. One more lap. I'll take that about half a second off my optimal. Like I said, not very fast. But I'm going I'm gonna have to go for steady here rather than <laughs> like lightning speed. Because lightning speed is not gonna happen. There's definitely a whole bunch of spots on this track where I can push harder, but I'm a little bit chicken because I'm just trying to not crash. But that's okay. We'll just try to get ourselves a solid finish here today and hopefully have a fun race. That's the main goal. Hey, right. heading to the oval part of the Roval. Can't spell Robo without Oval. And we'll see if we can get a better lap this time. It's not looking like it, though. I went in too soft last lap. Through here. That's another thing I'd probably lose a whole bunch of time doing. It's just going through corners way too soft. Although I overdrew the exit of the chicane there, which kind of defeated the purpose of going in harder. Hitting those turns hard, and that wasn't better than the first lap, but didn't really expect it to be. Only thing I changed from default was I moved the front brake bias back like 1%. That was it. Just because I had, while practicing, locked up a time or two, and I'm like, well, maybe I can move it back just a touch and help prevent that a little bit, but probably did nothing. Oh my god, 121.5. Yeah, we're not beating Ryan Vargas either. 
He's in third with a 122-1 at the moment. <laughs> I'm like a full second off of that on my best lap, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be pretty slow, but that's okay. Like I said, just gonna be steady. Try to keep this thing clean to the end. No stripe, as they say. And maybe faster as it goes on. Because, you know, still learning while I'm out here, so. Hopefully we'll get ready, uh, we'll be ready to go soon. You got really horrible starts here. At the Roval, because we're going to be coming through here, like this. I have to do the chicane before we even get to the checkered, or the, yeah, the start-finish line. And then we're just going to be a mile behind before we even start, but... Well, if I didn't want that to happen, I should have qualified better, right? Why didn't I do that? Because <laughs> I'm slow. Back to 12th, so we lost another spot. Are we the slowest out here? No. Thankfully, we're a couple, uh, we're not, like, down there in the 125s, the 127s. Of course, we could be if I just don't pay attention to the road, kind of like I'm doing now. But that's what I'm saying. Hopefully, if, uh, I might only be able to hit a 123, but maybe I can consistently hit those 123s and consistent consistency will pay off for me. I hope. That's, uh, what I'm going for. So, only a little bit more time. Gonna go ahead and pull on over. <laughs> we are the bus and the bus stop. Yeah, that's pretty slow, huh? That's down to 13th. Seems like most people are in the 122s. Like I said, my best lap is a 123. Oh, my best lap was what I just ran. Oh, that's funny. If that that I feel like that shows you I'm like still consistently gaining time. Like I just need more laps and more practice out here to get faster uh, if I'm consistently still hitting all-time bests. Big chunk in front of us though. Like that's almost a full second right there to 13th or the 12th rather. But we might have a close race with a 9. Looks like we're pretty similar on speed right here. This, of course, is all just judging by two laps. You never know where guys are going to be in reality. But we're going to find out soon as we're heading out. Oh yeah, we get to start sideways. As if the, as if the starts of these roval races here aren't messed up all enough already, we also get to start sideways. So we have to take the chicane heading to the green flag, and we have to start sideways. Hello, driver. Okay, I'll turn optimal. Obviously, you don't have traditional yellow flags here. I think we might take that. Don't have traditional yellow flags here. It's road course rules, so not like real NASCAR in that aspect. So local yellows. You can look around us, mostly A class. Okay, number four is a C two point nine. But he's the number four and he's in the three thousands of I rating, so road I rating you kinda you can't tell quite as much based on people's safety rating, because it could be like they're perfectly clean, but they just get a lot of off tracks or something, you know, they push it to the limit. A lot and they don't mind doing that so I feel like you can't tell quite as much about somebody based on their road safety rating 2.3 strength of field not too bad I'm just glad I get to do a race here since the last time I tried signing up no one else did so. um, hopefully I do get to race hopefully uh, we don't get wrecked immediately or something or wreck myself immediately in the left column. 
So we'll do one pace lap, then 20 laps here around the roll. Let's rev their engines, ready to go. Catch up, 15 car. Catch up, 13 car. Gonna be in the left lane. We need to catch car number 13. So we're getting caught up. These might be the overall messiest <laughs> pace laps of any course because you combine it with starting sideways and then just the really ugly starts here. Oh, okay, great. Just what I needed. Spooky Halloween ghost car is in front of us. It is October. A green ectoplasm car. Things are getting sorted, at least though. Everyone's kind of side by side. This probably isn't too far off my actual race speed. I'm gonna look uh, at everyone around us. That red car kind of looks like something Ryan Vargas has driven in the past. I think he's had this kind of like a, a plain red before. Up there starting third, I see. And I think you can drive right through this uh, chicane on the pace laps, but being on the inside, I can't guarantee the guy on the outside is going to do that, so we will be turning left. Yes, it's the real Ryan Vargas. No, I'm the real Ryan Vargas. <laughs> it's funny, because he's like... <laughs> he's on here a lot more not during the NASCAR season, it seems like. And it's really not even that uncommon to see him. So it's it's funny someone coming in and be like, Is that the real Ryan Vargas? It's like we get numb to the fact like we're racing real drivers. Here we go. It's pretty darn cool. And they're going. Not sure what I'm gonna do about it though, cause green flag, green flag. Eight. Very neat. So that was the messy star. That could have been worse though. So at least uh here's that. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we're slow through here. We already got someone with rear end damage. Let's not help them get more. Taking it easy. Let things get figured out first before starting doing anything too racy. They are side by side ahead. See if that uh, damage is affecting that five much at all. Hurry up, you're good, man. Trying to be easy on the throttle so we don't spin up the rear tires. That'll affect us longer if we go on the race. I usually just stay in third gear there. Chips out a little bit, but. You're just going to be shifting right back down, so. A little slow through there, kind of messed up my momentum, but that's okay. Can't just drive through, people. So far, so good. Keeping it smooth. Seems like most people are. Well, 
most people. Most people. All right. <laughs> Survive that. Consistency pays off again. So far, I mean, how consistent can you be on lap two? But you know, that's a pass. <laughs> However, you would like to slice it. We'll see if they come get me again, though, later in the race. parking it. Yeah, that was absolutely fucking brilliant, yeah. The leader has just done a 22.6. Oh, not sure what's happening over there. Get around him, maybe? No? Is he gonna hang on? Why is he hanging on so hard? Gosh. Give me some room. Give me no room whatsoever. How to drive around others, I gotta know how to give space. Something I definitely have not as much experience with. We survive. He's gonna go below the line there. Just go. If you really wanna go. Sorry, I'm so slow. Thirteenth place. Come on, focus. We need more speed. Don't try to break later. Just concentrate harder. Just taking care of it for now. Got some space behind, that's nice. Hard work these road courses with a stock car. Really get you sweating. A lot of guys seem to be kind of hitting the throttle a little harder through there. Maybe our rear tires will be better a little later. Or maybe I'm just under driving. That could be it too. They're getting away though. That's fine. If I'm slower, then this is where I belong. I'm gonna crash myself trying to keep up beyond my skill level. That a little shallow, but we're okay. I think that guy ahead hit the curb a little bit. Alright, 13th? That's not too bad. I can live with that. I think that's where we started, isn't it? Get close to it. Ooh, a little bit of tire spin. That's fine. I 
fun to drive. I enjoy it. It's difficult, but I do really uh, enjoy this place. We got a bit of a stack up going on ahead. It's going to help us get to them. And some blanking. Maybe that's why they're stacking up. See that nine really getting on it. We are much faster through here. And maybe they're just, you know, again, stacking up. Be careful with a couple guys next to each other in front of us heading into here, big breaking zone. Okay, Colton, the next car is Gibson. Looks like we're doing okay. Side by side up here. Getting scary. 15 turning down the track in front of everybody. Alright, we're okay. Much faster through here as usual. Just have to wait on them. Hmm, guy in the wall. I follow him a bit watching him exactly what you're not supposed to do you're supposed to pay attention to what you were doing not other guys because if you happen to follow them if you start watching other people too much after his mistake looks like he immediately was going to try a pass but i don't think he was able to get there So we'll see if we have anything for the 13, who might be falling off a little bit. Get that a little bit strange. How does one pass here? Good question. Now I have to worry about that. I just I'm I'm fa a little faster in some sections, but I think most sections they're faster than I am. Another pass attempt up ahead, looks like. They're doing crazy moves. Show how necessary they are. I was trying to go by, I was going to click to check out. Looking it. I did not mean to get into you. Oh my goodness. Try to get my nose on him, just in case, maybe, but... Oh my goodness, please go.
I am losing so much time through there. I really think a lot of my speed loss is just from not being aggressive enough on throttle, letting it get turned with the throttle. such terrible drive off go left I'm it's sorry right. the second she came right side I right, have to make the left. corner too nine, nine. clear nine. so after wrecking a guy he's gonna cross me Still over there. Okay. Oh my god. So stuck. Just trying to be patient. Gained a ton of time on us back there. I think both guys behind us might be catching. Need to pick up the pace. Uh, so bad. <laughs> Following guys wide, doing things that they're doing again. Feeling like the rear tires are hot. Maybe I haven't been as good to them as I thought I have been. So, 12th right now, but some guys behind that might not stay behind too long. Apparently I'm really bad through there. No, well, maybe not. Driving away from a little bit on exit. Really feeling slidey. I don't like it. Some racing going on ahead. I see a blue car up there. Ugh, did not get it turned the second half of that corner, cutting into the year. That was terrible. Should have been your first a little bit earlier. Tire spin. I'm okay with running 12th though. I feel like that's kind of where I deserve to be on speed. Minus a couple of guys that are faster than me. So I should probably be further back. But they uh, got into accidents. 
Uh, sliding through turn one a little bit. Really cutting it close on that wall. I'm gonna hit my lines. Close there and sliding. Ugh. Consistently bad. <laughs> so much for being consistent. Such the last lap. It's gonna be more relevant right now if the tire's more worn. Maybe uh maybe second gear's better out of there. Help protect the rears. Still have grip. I'll have to consider that for the future. Maybe a little bit of tire hop. It's fine. Oh, that's less fine. Curb sent me sideways there. That was just a really bad angle to hit that. B12. Someone maybe in the grass up here. It's curious. Collins taken out there. Alright, we really got the 13 close behind. I think they might be faster. So they will probably catch me before this thing's over. Tire hop, shifted out a little too early. Alright, good one, horse. I think I will probably, in the future, keep it in second gear through there. I'll see how it feels next lap, if I remember. I slip sliding ahead. I'm slip sliding a little bit too. Got a good angle through there for once. Park the bus right. up to the 15, I think they had a rough couple corners there for a minute. Nope, second gear. We're doing second gear this time. Uh, I don't know if it worked. Alright, Colton. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Alright, got through there pretty good that time. Especially compared to the guy behind us. Oh my god, I hit that curve so bad. That was horrible. Make it easy. Little bit hard. Sideways.
Man, this thing's a handful. I think first gear is still better. At least it's what I'm used to. Maybe if I practice second gear, I'd be better, but... Right now, it's just giving me a better runoff. The gap in front is now 0.9. That lap time was 126.0. All three sectors are 0.6 of the pace. This guy's really sliding. He's going for it. <laughs> Seems like he's drifting through every corner. Has to be able to hold it up uh, together as much as he has. Faster. <laughs> Wonder if you can hear me sawing my wheel left and right. Sounds like I'm cutting some plywood. So slow through here, the guy behind's having to wait on me. What is his problem? Running in the back of me. I don't know why that's a 4X, but there's there was no room there, so I don't know why he's trying to pass me. Caught me because the guy. Oh Jesus! Don't get that grip, by the way. He only caught me because of the. <sighs> Kill me. It's the guy ahead. Come on, keep pushing. Now he caught me because of me. That's why I just let him by. Yeah, I, I hit. I hit the wall once, and I'm like half a second off. For a lap. Oh, it's just dirty air. I can't, I can't get the run in the run field. Alright, let's just get this thing to the end. I'm clearly at my limit here. Hopefully be able to hold on to 13th. Two to go. Thirteenth place. Two laps left. Let's not over it and get sideways again here. Get the curb a little bit. It's so tough, man. This is crazy hard. So, number three is in first, Ryan Vargas is in second. See if uh, that switches before the end of the final lap. And uh, we're not even in the final lap yet, because we are so far behind. Why 
Right flag, last lap. Your lap time was at 126.5. You can see all the wheel spin I'm getting now. It's just not wanting to grip up anymore. I guess I went too hard. I thought I was be being easy on the throttle, but apparently not. Oh my. What did I contact? When did I hit anything? It just popped up, didn't it? Weird. You're right. Looks like you got the win. Vargas in second. I'm just trying to take it easy and I'm still sliding everywhere. I'm just trying to get to the end at this point. Oh, when did I get in 12th? Apparently someone crashed. There's an incident in the second chicane. You think it might be? You got a slow car on the left. Cast it's finishing and just parking it, looks like. Go right. Alright. That'll do it. P12. That's the P12. The flag. It's I'll take up. it. Okay, we'll get him next time. Come over here. Get out of everyone's way. Unfortunately, dinged up the car a little bit. I don't know if that tap from behind warranted a 4X. But I definitely earned myself a 2X <laughs> sliding into the wall. I guess that could have been worse. But 6X seems worse than I think I actually did. But I don't know. <laughs> Maybe my standard should be higher. But top split, 12th place. In a very tough stock car on the road course combo, I'll take it. That'll lose us about 44 I rating and some safety rating, I assume. But that's okay. People just gonna take the slow down on the start, I guess. That seems kind of goofy, but whatever. Incidents. Leader getting into the wall, maybe just a tiny bit. It turns down a little bit. It's just a little bit too bad for me. Also, lap one, the 19, up in the slidey part up there. It's very slick up top up there. Ooh, and then the 14 gets bopped a little bit sideways. Keeps it going. Ooh, 15 hard into that wall. That's very easy to do. All before the braking zone. Thankfully, he was able to slow it down. Slowed it down plenty compared to the guys behind him. Whoa, that's some very seriously... Hard hit curb right there. Let's see a little bit more of that. That wasn't too bad though. Are we just gonna see like everybody that hits those? So we don't need to see that. Not much going on there either. Trying to work that out side by side, those two are. Five majorly misses the braking zone. Side by side through here is pretty much never a good idea. Even if you do make it, you lose an absurd amount of time. Just some curb. Whoa, there was a major curb. I hit that pretty hard a couple times myself. Some more of that. More evidence that I should probably not do that. <laughs> Here's the guy making the mistake and then hanging on my outside. Is it just me, or like, did he not give me any room? Like, yeah, that's not really much room. Like, I would prefer to stay on the track surface, but if I had right there, there's not enough room for me. Like, 
let me take my car here and squeeze it in this little tiny spot. Yeah, no. I had to go off the track to accommodate him. So, there's that. Oof. That happened a lot. I feel like this 5 is fast, but hitting about everything. <laughs> Gonna go a little bit faster, try to find uh, any actual incidents. Guys getting curbs some more. That's gonna be a big curb right there. Oof. And Vargas. Barely into the wall on entry. Should really be watching these guys. Learn something. The eight waiting on the guys ahead and the one just, just gonna bump draft him. Is this gonna work? Oh, this is fine. Just hit some curbs. Thought they were gonna run into each other. Oh, I think the 14 shifted down too early. Got sideways. Hmm, 21 missed that completely. Another corner you really don't want to be side by side for. There's just not enough room for two cars. Not these cars, at least. It's all on the exit there. Not too bad. Going for a pass there. It runs into the back of them first, though and then overdrives it, and then hits the curb, and then loses that spot, and then another. <laughs> so that's why I don't generally try to pass there. It usually doesn't work out well. Here am I, seeing if I can get a nose there, but nothing doing. Not seeing much. Much going on. A little faster. 19 spinning, maybe. No, oh, he caught it. Guy's gonna be hot, though. I mean, once we're getting to this point in the race, or later, it's like starting to slide everywhere. At least it was for me. Interesting, the leader using a little bit of the uh, fake grass over there. Side by side into here. Doesn't work for anybody, as usual. Alright, moving along. Moving right along. Don't want the incidents to be longer than the race itself, if possible. This is me hitting the curbs too hard, I assume. Yeah, pretty hard. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, though. It's the first time I've seen me, so, I mean, I guess that's a positive. See, lots of guys for no reason. Feels like. There's a wall tap, that's about it. Curbs! This is gonna mean nothing because it's just the leader being fast. 
Getting closer to the end of this thing. Uh-oh, we had an actual accident. What happened here? Uh, wow, that was a rage quit, I think. <laughs> so he's his car's not turning here, and he's frustrated, and he's like, you know what, just gonna gas it up, kill it, and leave. Huh. Peter actually did get a chunk of the wall there pretty good, it looked like. One car moved ahead a lot, I think, during this race. I don't know, just 8 to 6th. For some reason I thought they moved forward more. I gained a spot, how about that? <laughs> just one. And I think it had to do with people crashing. But not as many freebies as I might have hoped for. There's me getting that crib too much. Hmm. I'm sliding all over the place at this point. What did, uh... Oh, they hit the inside wall there. Herb. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, what happened here? They were very slow through there. They're up the track a little bit, for whatever reason, and then... Weird, that looks like their car's just not turning right. Something weird going on there. That looked like they completely hopped the curbs. In real life, I feel like that would really tear your car apart. If something's wrong with that 11 car, I think, they got like damage or something. Because it's not turning quite right, it looks like. Oh yeah, here's us getting a bump. This was a 4X. That was a 4X. Like, really? Oh, no, wait, this was. Okay. Yeah, like, what are you doing? Get away from me. Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Clearly, you didn't need to force the issue, because I'm bad enough you can catch me anyway. Not sure what I'm doing here. Taking the ramp. Alright, and then there's where I over-rev it. Trying to get up to speed. I was real slow after hitting that, and then uh, it just absolutely turned sideways on me. You'll see my uh, inputs here. I'm like, alright, easing back up, alright, should be good to go. And then all of a sudden it pulls to the left really hard, and I immediately let go, but it doesn't matter. Like, I'm just sideways at, at this point. There's no grip at all. So I hit the inside wall real hard. I'm just like, all right, go on ahead. I uh, lost my privileges to that spot. <laughs> I guess up there, being fast. Nothing going on back here, really. And uh, just about to the end of it. A couple more wall hits to see. Laid guy in third. <laughs> Ooh, the one in the wall very hard there. It really looked like they damaged the car. I think they're lucky this was the last lap. Is it turning right for him? Yeah, looked like it turned too much there because he got the curbs, but that'll do it. All right. Bit of a long incident report, but interesting at least, I think. Uh, we will be P12. Um, I'm okay with that. It doesn't look very good as the number two, but hey, uh, that's from road racing cars, not stock cars, and uh, lots of fast guys in here. And uh, I've never been too great at stock cars on road course, so uh, tempering my expectations and looking at it uh, from a neutral perspective, I got 12th and top split, and uh, I think I can feel okay with that. I uh, 
got like a bogus 4x from a guy sticking his nose where it didn't belong i don't know i still don't see why it was a 4x but uh, really it should have just been a 2x i think uh, for me hitting the inside wall and uh, considering that you know i could just i could definitely use a lot more practice i'll take it i'll, I'll take it for what it is so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed very tough here but uh, at least i made it to the end and uh Thank you if you made it to the end of the video. Oh, clever, right? Okay. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Have a good one.